we beat our main rival. We beat our main rival in the final and won the cup. Hooray, we beat. We beat. Ganamos a. Derrotamos. Yes, batimos. We beat. Escrito beat. Ganar is to beat. Ganamos a nuestro rival. En la final. We beat our main rival. Principal rival. We beat our main rival in the final. And won the cup. La copa. Levantamos la copa al final. Y no se nos cayó. Yeah, we didn't drop it. We won. We beat. We won the match. We won the game. We beat our main rival. We beat our main rival. We won the match. We won the game. We beat. Aquí no podemos decir win cuando hay complemento directo. Directo, en este caso, rival. We beat our main rival in the final and won the cup. We won. Se, se pronuncia como un número uno, won. We won the cup. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> Hola, bienvenidos a la frase de hoy. We beat our main rivals in the final and won the cup. Ganamos a nuestros principales rivales en la final y ganamos la copa. Vamos con el primer punto. We beat. To beat. Que es ganar. Pero con la idea de derrotarle a alguien. ¿Vale? We can't beat someone without defeating them. Y aquí está la palabra del día. To defeat. Derrotar. Vale, entonces, ganando, to beat, vamos derrotando a alguien en una competición o un juego, en un partido, etc. Entonces, es irregular. Everyday I beat, yesterday I beat. Se queda igual. Muy fácil, ¿no? Entonces, vamos a ver unos ejemplos. Rafa Nadal beat Federer at tennis. My brother always beats me at chess. Did you beat him in the race? Can you beat this English point? Muy bien. Ahora nos vemos en un minutito. Tengo aquí los resultados del concurso El Mejor Equipo. Let's see. Ah, well, that's not a surprise. We beat that team. We always beat that team. They're terrible. By the way, to beat someone is vencer a alguien. But we don't say to beat to someone. We say to beat someone. Come on, say it with me. To beat someone. Good. We beat them last year. They were so angry. Now, let's see the results from this team. Sally. Sally beat me. Sally Labaga. She's so lazy, and she beat me. This is ridiculous. I can't believe she beat me. And, and Lewis beat me as well. I can accept Sally Labaga beat me, but Lewis? Lewis is like the laziest worker ever. And after all the work I do around here, bueno, que hagan lo que quieran. Hola de nuevo. Vamos a ir al segundo punto, que es our main rivals in the final, principalmente main, que es principal, main rivals, rivales principales. Ahora, el our hay que tener cuidado, no decimos our, no, nunca, no, decimos our, our, our main rivals. Ahora, el adjetivo main, main, que quiere decir principal, como dije antes. El principal, el más importante, el mayor, ¿vale? Como el, the main supplier, el mayor proveedor. The main buyer, el principal comprador. Ahora vamos con unos ejemplos. We beat our main competitor last month. Ganamos a nuestro principal competidor el mes pasado. Did you buy it? from our main supplier. ¿Lo compraste de nuestro principal proveedor? You can find my office in the main building. Our main problem in the project is the budget. Muy bien. Pues bien hecho y nos vemos en un minutito. <laughs> hey, it's Frank. 
the security guard. Yeah, I always wanted to be a baseball player. Siempre he querido ser jugador de baseball. Well, today, there was a big game between two main rivals. Yeah, it was a game that took place, tuvo lugar, here in the park. Yeah, it was between the Bears and the Tigers. Yeah, the Bears and the Tigers. They're main rivals, or arch rivals, we could say, too. Arch rivals, or main rivals. But we never say great rivals, gran rival, no. We don't say great rivals. We say your main rival, or if it's really one-on-one, -on -one, it's your arch rival, right? Your nemesis, right? The bears and the tigers, they are main rivals. They are arch rivals, yeah. Well, I told you, I wanted to be a baseball player. I would be a great baseball player. Yeah, I never found anyone to play with me. Sí, nunca encontré nadie que quería jugar conmigo. But I'm telling you, I would be a great, ahí sí que usamos gran, pero no con rival. Okay, I would be a great baseball player. Bien, y ahora vamos al tercer y último punto. Won. Ganamos la copa. Won the cup. Ganamos. Y aquí tenemos otro tipo de ganar, que en inglés se divide en dos. To beat, que vimos antes, y aquí to win, que estamos viendo ahora. Es irregular, por lo tanto, every day I win, yesterday I won. Y aquí este ganar solo se centra en la consecución, en el logro, dentro de una competición o dentro de algo al azar o un premio. Entonces, vamos a ver unos ejemplos. Ben Affleck won an Oscar this year. Ben Affleck ganó un Oscar este año. She won a hundred euros in the lottery. Ella ganó 100 euros en la lotería. Who won the Nobel Peace Prize this year? ¿Quién ganó el premio Nobel de la Paz este año? I beat the other runners and I won the race. Aquí beat y won en el mismo punto. Muy bien, pues muy bien hecho y nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Hi, welcome to the shop that sells everything you need when you need it. And today, I'm selling raffle tickets for only three euros. That's right, I'm selling raffle tickets for three euros. And what does the winner get? The winner gets this cup. That's right, I'm selling raffle tickets, billetes para un sorteo. And the winner gets this cup. Last month, April won the cup. That's right, April won the cup. April ganó la taza. April won the cup. So actually, now that I think about it, April won the cup before too, but that's because she bought all the tickets. And the month before that, she won the cup also. In fact, now that I think about it, April won the cup every month of last year. So come on, buy a ticket. They're only three euros. We don't want April to win again. April's won enough times. You don't want to buy a ticket? Well, let's see who this month's winner is. And the winner is <gasps> April again. April won the cup. 